Three, two, one, intro. All right, hey, it's Michael here, and uh, I'm here with Jeremy. Hello. Uh, looks like we're going to get into ever, what, uh, ever, it, it just, uh, Never ending nightmares. You see his shadow makes an N. That's, that's clever. It's like he's holding his arms in a specific way just to be the end. I mean, you know, You think he just walks into rooms like that that's with how his I arm out? Okay. I always have to make sure that my shadow makes something. So, all right. I actually met this guy that made this game out at GDC this year. He's a really nice guy. Um, he just told Matt. me that he has like a lot of uh, like a lot of actual personal deep issues, like suffers with depression and all that. And uh, he was telling me that basically, uh, oh, you've already started it, right? So we're gonna go from the beginning. All right. Yeah. Just uh, lost I, my safe file. Uh, yeah. Well, this is it. These people have never seen this either. Oh my god. What and the game that? starts kind of fucked up. Oh my lord! Okay. Well, so Mike hasn't played this yet. I've I've no, actually I've never gotten. Played this. I did play it a little bit at GDC uh, when he had the, a demo for it. Um, um, I can I can tell you for a fact that this build is much different than that build. It yeah, that's off what kind of I, I heard. I, saw, I heard he had made a, a complete different build. This is already kind of my cup of tea. I really like uh, adventure games like this. I love the Edward Gorey uh, like art style. Edward Gorey is probably one of my favorites. It's so, a really simple but effective art style. This game is actually really, really simplistic. You only really have a couple options. You have, you know, your analog yeah, stick for movement, your like A key a to interact. To run. Yeah, it looks like. And then run. Uh, I like this uh, this painting up here, though. Like, there's a little girl with some scary-looking pants and boots. Maybe it's this guy over here. I don't know. Okay. Possibly. Yeah, so, right. Mike hasn't yet played the final build. I actually kickstarted this game, so I got in a little early... So, yeah. um, so this I'm, is it, though. This is the fi final copy? Yeah, this is the final this build for it. This is the release. Okay. Uh, this is the official release. Um, I'm going to do my best to not spoil anything for you. Well, that would be nice. Just let you uh, go through yeah, and play? Yeah, let me just... Yeah. Oh, nothing? Okay. It's funny, because it, it does kind of look like the guy that makes this game. Uh, well, I mean, from... The reasons mm -hmm. that I backed this game is mostly because when he was talking about his development for this, he, he uh -huh. put a lot of himself Yeah, that's what he had game. told me, like... He said he gets the, he used to have these images of like, you know, violence and like of wanting to hurt himself, but yeah, these, uh, this uh, it was much easier to put that that imagery into a game than actually do that. Okay. So I gotta say, like with the creepy voices and stuff in the background. Um, uh, so this is my family. It looks like that. That looks like your family. Yeah. Okay. Or just random people. You never know. Well, it looks like a young version. See, but you can see things, like, moving around. What? Stay up close on the mic. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it not? I oh, know, it's picking us up. It's just, uh, I want to make sure it comes through clear. Oh, okay. Well, it's got to keep, keep a kink in my neck if I do that. Ah, that's okay. You only hurt your ass, not your neck. <sighs> oh, fuck you. Oh, All right, so, so let's just run around here. Let's, let's, okay. I like that. He's drinking a 40. That guy. Yeah. He looks like G.G. Allen, though. In the face. I mean, he's got the drinking part down. Trif yeah, he's got to fight and fuck some people. So here, while well, Mike's... I'm uh, a very privileged young man, it looks like. No, oh, of course. From the size of this house. Can you read Latin? No. So is that a... Can't turn the pages, nothing? No. No, okay. All right, well. So here, while you're running through this, I, I just uh, some quick uh, details on the gameplay. Like I was saying, it's, it's a super simplified gameplay. You just have move and interact. Okay. Um, you have run two, but you actually can't run very far. Uh, the player character is asthmatic, as you can hear him wheezing every time you run. Oh, I see. So you actually do run out of oh, breath wow, fairly creepy. quickly. Oh, wow, Here we go. Oh, no. See, I keep thinking things are interactable, right? but I guess the only thing that you can actually interact with are things in color. Yep. Um, so you can only interact with color, like you just said, and um, he kind of uses color to highlight things. Right. Um, not just what you can interact, but also things that sometimes try and interact with you. Oh, hey, dead bird. Quote the raven. Nevermore. Now that raven's nevermore. Yeah, that's what I meant. Hello. He's dead. Alright. Okay, well, let's just, just keep on going here. Yeah, alright, this shit happens. S spooky bowl. Nobody will blame me for that. Uh, some meat grinder. Alright. Yep, that looks delicious. Right, yep. Was, uh, how is that knife? Oh, okay, it's hanging. I was like, is it in the Floating. wall backwards? But. Alright. 
So I know I said I didn't want to spoil this too much for you, but like, for this first shit. level, you can just run. Okay. Well, just that's run. A, that's the best spoiler there is. Yeah. Like, it starts off kind of slow. Oh, he's going to run out of breath. I now. like it. That's cool. It's all right, Sweaty Jim. I had asthma growing up. Never I, this bad, though. My lungs were perfect. Makes me, uh, these are some interesting names. I think. Maka White. I think that some of these are like people who helped kick start Kevin the game. Smith. Yeah, people who reach like a certain goal. Right. Let's see. Who's this? Oh. Okay. That will never end. Oh. That's silly. I don't think anybody ever says that. If you're like, yeah, dude, I had a dream you died. No one's like, that's silly, you fucker. People are like, that's, uh... That's kind of fucked up, dude. Every time I have a dream that somebody does, I, I immediately call or text that yeah. person. Yeah, right? That's, uh... Letting them know that my brain killed them. <laughs> Thinking of you. In my dreams. What's in my closet? Is this not a closet? Oh, it's a bathroom. All right. Is this where I see some... Oh, my teeth. Who just leaves that? Who just leaves that? I mean, uh, apparently... And there's no, there's no drain. There's no water. Who needs... I never realized There's that. no just, sink. You just ruined this entire game for me. Oh, uh, if that if that's all it took. <clears throat> well, I mean... <sighs> oh, wow. Getting over get it. Get it out of there. Um, I mean, this game does take place in the 1800s, as we saw from the uh, gravestone. Maybe they don't have uh, running water in the sink. Uh, that's bullshit. Ignore the fact that the tub and the toilet were in the background with, you know, pipes. I mean, you know what, tub. though? This is a very classic looking house. He's wearing a fucking one, you know, a set of pajamas. Nobody wears that. This could be, uh, this could be some early time stuff. I don't know. That's a, okay. Let me just pose with my skull. Yeah. Oh, 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 wait. Don't take the picture. Let me get my skull. Uh, oh wait! Oh, uh, yeah, you don't want to do the creepy stairs? I feel like I have like a lot of options here. You no. Know, yeah, I'll do creepy stairs. Let's go back to that. Shut up, God! This guy's kind of bitchy. It almost upsets me when I have to play as a character that's kind of a pussy. I mean, some of the situations you find yourself in later are really fucked up. Yeah. And he kind of keeps the same exposure, or like composure, the entire time. Okay. Oh, okay. I had the pear dream again. I'm just kidding. So oh, one no. of the things about this Wait, game. Wait, should I have gone back in the bathroom? Is nah, it gonna be different? Thing. Oh, it's the same. Yeah. Jesus. One of the things about this game is that you have uh, branching paths depending on your options that you take. Uh -huh. um, I'm a couple stages past this, and I haven't hit any of them yet. Um, supposedly, depending on he how you walks, kind of weird. Levels. Like a hobble. Uh, uh. I mean, he's barefoot. Maybe he's got something stuck in his foot. Yeah, everything's the same right now from the okay. last step. Okay, all right, great. Let's just get on to it then. Creep stairs. Oh, you don't need to go down there yet. No? No. He'll just die again. Is that, a, that was how you die? That's what happens when you die? You wake up? Yeah. Yeah, every time you die, you just wake up. Okay. That's something. Oh, so is this game supposed to be scary? I mean, there's some... Or is it just fucked up? It's a little bit of both. Okay. It's very tense, and... Like, this This part's kind of what was seen in, like, the GDC demo. Right. It's not too dissimilar. This is also Demon what... Demon um, baby thing and shit. The demo he gave out during the Kickstarter. Man, those dolls come into play later on. I'm today. sure. They always do. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta watch the clock. Okay. Oh. This is... Oh, God. No. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I'd have nightmares too with that clock. It's like ISIS. With all that shit going on. Beheadings. Yeah, alright. Gotta say, I really like the audio design in this game. Yeah, it's very well done. Um, I, I find it definitely it, is very atmospheric. It pulls me in, like, yeah. more than anything else. Um, especially with, like, some of the... Um, voices that you can hear in the background that guy looks like conan o'brien yeah i really love the edward gory art style that's really nice 
Yeah, I say after we get the end of uh, this one, why don't we jump ahead a chapter or two? Yeah, that's fine. Unless you want to play just straight through. Oh, no, it's fine. We can jump around. Give me that candle. Yeah. All right. Now I can light up darker scribbled areas. Why, God, have you forsaken me? It's a system of a down, huh? Yep. And that's me, dead. Okay. I would not react so calm if I saw my own dead body. Yeah, I mean, he's not reacting at all. He's just like, oh, yeah, that's some shit. Move the guy. Yeah. He's like kind of just like kicking himself out of the way. She's like, come oh, on, move. Get the fuck out of the way. I got a candle now. Yeah. Red candles. Why is it dark in here now? Like, that makes no sense. Ah! I'm just kidding. Should I just keep running this way? Yeah, just keep going. She's right there, man. Ah! Annabelle. I'm just kidding. Or what's her name? Daisy? Uh, Isabel? I already forgot. It's almost has like a haunted mansion feel. Well, I mean, you don't even always play in the mansion. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean... Uh, oh, there's that fuck thing you, now. bring it on. I got a candle now. Come on, putts. Uh, just run for three seconds, then walk for three, then run for three. But, yeah, I mean, uh, I feel like a lot of this game, you're just kind of guessing at where to go. Do I just go back to where I was? Like... Uh, for this first part, but like I said, this is more or less what was in the GDC demo, what was in the um, Kickstarter demo. Uh, uh -huh. uh, it, it really does change. Like I, I feel like this first stage isn't exactly the best representation of it because um, it actually narrows out and kind of tosses in almost like a puzzle en element into the game. Because there are enemies in this game, yeah. which I wasn't sure of at first. And, um, Is that what I had to do? I needed the candle to go down here? Yeah. Uh -huh -huh. I need the candle to get the axe. To First you get the, the axe, boards. then you get the khakis. Then you get the women. Then you get the chops. Run! Okay. Oh, yeah, this is what I... Oh, yeah. Oh. That is just brutal. Oh, the sound effect for that. Ah, yeah. You know, that reminds me of, uh, did you see that James Franco movie, uh, 127 Hours? Nope. Where he was, like, based on about the guy. Yeah, the guy who had to chop yeah. up his own arm with that a That is the knife. worst part, is when he's, like, cutting through his arm, and you gotta see him cut his tendons. That is the worst part. I heard they went into way too much detail with that. Yeah. It's the same guy who made Train Spotting. I Danny haven't Boyle. seen Train Spotting. What? I haven't seen Train Spotting. I thought you had. Nope. Too busy playing video games. Wow. I thought you had. It's a classic. Okay, I feel like uh, The Shining now. This is great. God, God damn it, dude. Uh, at least you ran out at the end of the hallway. Yeah. That doesn't hurt your asthma? Swinging axes? That's what he could break cool wood with one swing three times in a row, but running right out. Yeah, I mean, look at that axe. He's got to work on his cardio. It's look at blessed his with blood. All right. Oh, and now my sister's dead yet again. Only this time through some ritual. Do I have time to wake up? Oh, there we go. There he is. You know what this is? This is Groundhog Day. The horror movie. The horror game. You ever yeah. seen Groundhog Day? I have seen I have seen that. I love that fucking movie. That movie. I just watched it a couple days ago, actually. That's a real classic. You really grow to hate uh, I Got You, Babe, by the end of that movie. Because um, he wakes up to it every movie? time. Yeah, I did. Okay, so this this stage actually kind of fucked with me just because... They what? The toy box music. Oh, yeah, I hate that. Clowns, man, they get me. Okay. The little nun girl is really cool. A lot of... I don't know why. I don't have, like, a fear of dolls or anything like that. Yeah. This made me really uneasy when I was really? playing it. <laughs> Hello, I'm a hipster. 
I really like Radiohead. Let me to my vinyls yeah. on my fixie bike. Did you guys get the new Mumford and Sons? Alright. Um, let's... Yeah, these little soldier dolls look like we're ready to fuck some shit up. Yeah, and you are also running around in a circle now. I'm what? Running in a circle. Oh, am I? Well, you know. Her face is all cracked. Yeah. That time. It's cracked the first oh, was time. was <laughs> You just missed it. Paying attention. Okay. Just run to the right on the next screen. Yeah. I don't think we've gotten to the point where there's enemies yet. Uh, maybe we get to them in this stage. What could be in this giant cupboard? Me! Oh, wow. It's the lion. What is this? That's it? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. It comes into play. Yeah, I see it. All right. So, have you seen any of the previews or releases for this yet? For this? Yeah. Oh, uh, no. So, you don't know what any of the enemy designs like, do you? Uh, yeah, I saw this big giant baby head looking oh, okay. fucking thing, yeah. That was what they, they like kept showing at the uh, demo at GDC. This is pretty cool, though. I do like it. This is like a game I would definitely not be able to just sit through in one go. Um, it gets very, very, very stressful. To the point where I have a very hard time playing this by myself. Yeah, I can see why. Where are your parents? <laughs> I mean, this guy looks like a grown-ass adult. Does he? God, the sound effects. Oh, the doll has blinked. <laughs> I miss it every time. Yeah. Of course, there's the cracked eye one. You know, I mean, I think it's kind of good symbolism in the fact that it's this guy waking up every day. Because, in reality, this man is waking up every day with these same issues. Yeah. And, and does live a never-ending fucking nightmare of... Well, I have a background where with some depression. Right. And this game really resonates with me for that. Yeah. I just, uh... I don't think I've ever had that. I just don't... I don't know. It's not, a, it's not fun. Like, it, it really does... I mean, I do have moments of uh, time where I will just be randomly upset when there's no really reason to be. But never, it never really lasts. No, I've had clinical depression since I was about 13, and this game just... It, it nails it. kind of huh? speaks to me just because, yeah. you know, it really oh, is. Oh, there it is, yeah. Oh, get him. Yeah. <laughs> kind of worth oh, it. Oh, God, that sound. I, was, I like how it just... <laughs> It, like, shoots out two square streams. That's how my blood ah, comes out. That's how blood out, yeah. That's what happens when you're mutilated by mongoloid, baby. So here, since you died, this is a really good thing to point out that, like, the empty bedrooms that you come across right. are the respawn points. Oh, okay. That Instead of having to start yeah, the menu or the that. game all, all over right, again. You should probably hide in that closet. Yeah, let me make sure Pussy Boy... Oh, yeah, yeah, he's coming. Okay. I've never seen what happens if you try and hide in there after he's already seen you. Bye, buddy. So we just kind of play the waiting game. God, yeah. that is an atrocious looking thing. Get out and run. Yeah, the enemy design is... uh. That's pretty creepy looking. Really fucked up. Yeah. I hope we didn't completely lose my save. He's like, I really want you to see the spot that I'm at. Let's get to the uh, next spot spot where you die and we can jump up forward yeah. a little bit. More creepy dolls. Is he barefoot? Yeah, that's gonna be terrible. Yeah. This guy does keep his cool, though. I'll tell you what. I mean, I would. He's a giant mongoloid, baby. I probably would have shit my fucking pants. 
I probably would have tried to stomp it out though too. But yeah, would, yeah, I mean, uh, if, you know, a nine foot after, tall veiny. Yeah, but I mean, that's, that's at the same time you're like that's a fucking baby. You just probably got a soft spot. You just rock it on its head, you know, and just fucking get rid of them. Fucking take care of business. I'll let babies push me around. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, this baby just really wants love. I mean, he does kill you with kindness and a does hug. It, do we know that, though? I mean, he gave you a hug. Uh, I mean, let's go. All right. Oh, uh, look. Doll caught in the web. Oh, creepy. What did the doll ever do to that spider? All right, here we go. What a big house. Yeah. I was thinking that when I was playing Huge. through this stage the first time. I'm like, this is like the fourth time I'm going downstairs. Yeah. Well, that's also his dream house, I guess. I mean, well, this guy has some fucked up dreams. You know, it's probably like the fucked up version of the house he grew up in. Maybe yeah. his mom really liked dolls or something. Sister really liked dolls. Fucking dolls everywhere. I mean, kind of makes sense if he's dreaming about his dead sister. Or yeah. his sister being killed or yeah. dying. I would love to know, like, the actual, like, if there is any sort of, uh, telling of which certain things are, like, go to what, you know? Get in there! <laughs> Alrighty. Oh! Okay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, jump forward a little bit. All right. Uh, let's save and quit. Uh, play. Uh, nightmare select. So, yeah, let's start right there. Oh, look, I'm right before the branching paths. Okay. So, let's continue. All right, different scenery here. It's an incredibly different environment. Yeah, all right. So, why I'm in an asylum, I guess. Holy shit. Oh. This looks like a Sin City page. Okay. Yeah, you have to go to the right. Do I? Yeah. Is he still out there, you think? Yeah, he's still out there. Yeah, whatever. Let's see. I want to see the death animation. So, uh, he doesn't have eyes and he doesn't have ears. Oh, okay. <laughs> well. You stopped walking a little too, uh... Yeah, I, I see that. It's like Voldo walking around. Oh, man, we should totally play some, uh, Soul Calibur. Yeah. So you can tiptoe. Tip. Because you're gonna have to tiptoe past him to get past that part. Got it come through tiptoeing. In. So I'm gonna have to go right there in his yep path. Do I have to do it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't think you're gonna be able to make it right now though. Oh oh oh! Too close. Yeah. <laughs> I died three times in a row at this spot, and I'm really? like, too stressed okay. to do this. Uh. Because everything leading up to this is just rooms full of those guys. Oh, really? And then just the horrible sound. Even when they're not there, just the horrible sound effects that they make. Right. Oh, oh. Get to that room! Oh, oh. that is mean. That was mean. You've so far made it further than me. Yeah? Oh. I always get caught at, like, the apex of the pile of dead bodies. I was just being a little, uh... I was trying to rush. Oh, God. Hold on, listen. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. Now, you may not be able to necessarily go in that door. No. Oh, we did get past it, though. There we go. Oh, oh and then here's a... Oh... Oh. There's a lot of shit everywhere. Uh, you're gonna have to go up. I see, yeah. So they're just smelling. All they know is the smell and fuck up throats. Uh, that and I. Uh... Gullets. Their ears. Uh -huh. Oh, he's after you. Nope, you can't go in there. Oh, get there! There we yeah. go. You ain't got shit. You ain't got shit. Oh wow, that's lovely. I wish I could have looked looked at those other rooms a little bit better, but time was essence. 
I was looking into all these rooms, and it got to the point where I was so stressed where I was just like, no, fuck it. I just uh, want to get to the end of this room. I'm really waiting for one to, like, something to pop up. Um, I will say that it did happen once. Okay. But it was very restrained. Like, it, it wasn't uh, until, like, ten rooms in that he finally popped out. I'll just assume something was coming. Whatever that noise is in the background is very unsettling. Yeah. There's a lot of that. Let's go see what's in here. Nothing. I think there's one of those things in here. I'm sure. Everything is a... Yeah, you can hear someone. Yeah, but who knows if it's... I think it's this one. It's gotta be. Oh, no, shit! Right there. Fuck you. How did I... I didn't even know he was in... Oh, did I have to start back at the beginning? No. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's one of those rooms you probably are going to start in. We'll see. If not, I suck. Fuck this game. God damn it. Nope, you're in the same room. Oh, okay. Okay, slow down right here. This is apparently perfect tiptoe. Speed. Uh, be careful on the glass. Oh, what? That is dick! That's... Oh, okay. What? What? Look at this dickhead in the picture up there. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. What a bitch. <laughs> so I wasn't expecting that. All right. Uh, so this bitch was mean, so... I mean, it's not like he can do anything to her. Is the asylum all happy now? Oh. Yep, I'll go... Oh. Uh, go back in there. See what's in there now. She's still... She's, she's, she's got reading to do. I mean... She's you know, halfway through like Fifty Shades of Grey. Asylum. It's best not to disturb her. Seriously? What? Another pile of corpses? Yeah, well, these are just around, you know? I like to keep them around sometimes. Maybe he's friendly this time. How could... I mean, uh, he literally, they literally take two steps. Got something to say now, bitch? Nothing? All right. All right. So I think, uh... You want to try and make it past this last pile, and then we'll call it? I guess. All right. What's in that room? What's in there? What's in there? What's in the room? Maybe this is something he uh, had a really, like, you know, I don't know. How are you supposed to get around that guy? Maybe maybe he had, like, to say this a lot or something. Maybe that was something he asked a uh, question Let's of. see. Try not moving. See if he can detect you right there. So you move. Oh. Oh, God. I got you, babe. Ah, I think you're supposed to uh, do the glass, draw him over there, and then run out of the way. Here, let me try. Okay. I'm probably going to shit myself. Here, hold my beer. Oh, God. Why, why is that my job? It's only room temperature. Only. Here, that's the best beer. It is. Really gets the hops going. Ah. Like that. Oh, I see. Yeah, is that it? Oh, you know, I can't hear it. I, I'm playing on the recording machine, so <laughs> I'm hearing everything like three seconds behind it actually happening. <laughs> hey, cool, look, it left my blood, bloody footprints. Nope. Okay, this is going to be my last time that I think we're going to call it. <laughs> Come on. Let's make it fucking count. Gonna do it. Never ending nightmare. Go. Go. Uh, okay. <laughs> and that's so, how you go. So this is never ending nightmare. Uh, what do you think of the game so far? It's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I, like 
this is about the the amount of time that we just sat here and played it is probably the amount like the increments I would sit here and play this game. Your I want to go back to it. I kind of I want to see mind. what I want to see what happens. Uh, the story is really interesting, especially the fact that every time he interacts with this. Yeah, sister, we'll have to come back to this at some it's, point. It's completely. I mean, different. it's Halloween. We're gonna play fucked up games, like you know, it's, oh, it's October. It's not Halloween, but yeah, whatever. It's Halloween. Yeah, Who Halloween, this Halloween month. This may go up in November. This may go up just in time for Christmas. Yeah, right. Anyways, this at is... that point, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> well, anyways, this is Jeremy from Pissed Off Players and uh, Michael, and uh, we'll see you next time. And go fuck yourselves. Fade to black or something like that. Star pan.